Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. In this video, as we continue along with the IVMS tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding an IP camera. The first thing we want to do here in order to add an IP camera is go into Device Management. In Device Management, we'll, we want to make sure we're on the right tab. Okay, so we're on Encoding Device. And then if we take a look down here at the bottom, these are going to show us the online devices that are not currently on our system. Okay, so I can see here I've got a Axia FD 2 megapixel camera. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind before we actually add this camera. Number one, IP cameras do use up a lot of bandwidth. You're going to want that IP camera on its own dedicated network. You're going to want an NVR that's configured properly. Okay, there's a lot of things that need to be done with Windows. You want to make sure updates are disabled, firewalls are off. Um, lots of sort of little tweaks and stuff that need to be done in order to get this to run correctly. Once all of that is done, um, the next thing that you want to make sure is that under security, it is active. Okay, these cameras will come inactive, which means that you actually have to set a password for them. Okay, this one is good. I've already done that in previous videos. If it was not, I would simply click on activate. Okay, and set a password. That's all there is to it. You're just creating a password that's going to be used for that IP camera from now on. Okay, because that's already done, I'm going to go in and configure this IP address to match what's my to match my camera network. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click modify net info. First thing I want to do is change the IP address scheme. Okay, so my camera network I always use 192.168.50. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to enter in my password. And click OK. Once that's done, you'll see down here in the lower right, it says parameter modification success. If you get any kind of an error, error there, that means that the password that you entered is most likely incorrect. Now, down here at the bottom, you'll see the IP address. There we go, it finally changed to 50.100. You can manually refresh it as well right here, but it will do it on its own every 60 seconds. Okay, so once I have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Add to Client. And I'm gonna name the camera. So for this one, I'll use Backyard. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my username and password. And click Add. Okay, so now I've got that camera added. If I go in here to group, there's one other thing I like to do. Um, I like to create a group where I'll have all of my cameras within that group. So I'll go all cameras, say okay, and then I'm gonna click on import and I'm gonna select my camera and say import. Once that's done, I can then close out of there. So that covers how to add an IP camera to the IVMS 4200 platform. We're gonna take a look at configuring the IP camera and having it record on motion, record 24 seven, all that sort of thing in future videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.